Hello Mathieu, thank you for hosting us uh, at your booth. Uh, let's talk about the Frick. Thank you very much for coming. So actually we are sitting within the watch right now. Uh, so as you know, Frick uh, is uh, the icon of uh, contemporary watchmaking. It is a watch that won the GPHG award last year uh, in Geneva. Actually it's a watch that I wear now, the Frick one. Uh, but this year it's about the Frick S. So we celebrate uh, the top of the collection, the most complicated Freak movement ever created and uh, we are launching a second variation of the Freak S called the Freak S Nomad. Yeah, and it has a silicium uh, balance wheels. So actually more than a balance wheel, so the whole escapement, the balance wheel, the hairspring, the escapement wheel, the anchor are all in, in silicon, silicium, uh, as we pioneered the use of silicon in, in watchmaking in 2001. And the escapement part, so the escapement wheel and the anchor are also covered in synthetic diamond. Uh, it's a patent of Ulis Nardin called the Diamond Seal uh, that makes those components even more reliable on the long run. So what is the uh, speciality of this uh, new timepiece that you presented? So we did produce 75 free cases back in 2022. Uh, it was the first movement with two oscillating organs being automatic. It's still the case today after two years. But we are launching this year a variation which is um, I would say the best expression of one side high uh, technology uh, with the movement of the free case. It is avant-garde also in terms of design compared to the previous version because we use titanium, uh, we use carbonium, which is a tech materials upcycle from the aircraft industry. Uh, but we are also merging a artisanal, one of the most ancestral métiers d'art called the guilloché. So this is why on the booth you got also a master guilloché with us. And the hour disc uh, that plays the role of the dial has been guilloché handmade. Uh, so it's you know one of the most ancestral métiers d'art maybe with enameling. And we managed to combine both in the Frikest. And uh, we call it the Frikest Nomad uh, because we were inspired by the sand and the desert. Uh, so uh, the color of the dial uh, give you an impression of being, you know, uh, being within the desert. So we call it the Precast Nomad. It also, uh, I think, a, a clin d'oeil to our uh, pioneering free spirit within the company. You know, a nomad is always on the move. Uh, so as us, we are always looking to um, uh, keep leading and, and pioneering the industry, innovative and bringing something new. Yeah, uh, speaking of silicium, you said that you pioneered this uh, this material. Are you going to stick with this one in the future? You stick the, with this material or are you uh, want to invent something like you? You have your R&D department who is inventing in other uh, materials. I think we can uh, find also other applications for the silicium. Uh, you've seen that with the blast uh, free wheel with a silicone silicium marquetry. So we managed to bring the silicone technology into the habillage, so into the dial decoration. It is absolutely unique to us. Uh, so it's one way of, I would say, developing uh, the use of silicone. Last year we had a brief conversation uh, during the uh, GPG Awards uh, with uh, Patrick Pruneau, who said, who promised uh, 2024 to be the freak year. How it is going so far? But actually, you know, it's a freak year because we are launching one main product this year, which is a freak S. Uh, what I can tell you is that since yesterday, because yesterday was the first day, the response on the free case is absolutely amazing. Um, I think people were not expecting uh, the fact that we would merge a high-tech, one of the most advanced uh, product we have, which is the free case, with one of the most ancestral metiers. So I think they absolutely like that contrast. Um, also, when you, you see the watch, the product, uh, people really like the contrast on the dial. So depending on how uh, the light is, uh, the watch will have a different perception. So, so far, so good. And what about other collections that you have? So, we're going to be launching a couple of more watches through the year. Uh, we are not unveiling them uh, this year. Uh, you'll see that another important collection is a diver uh, collection. Uh, it's a sport watch, it's a, it's a dive watch. And we are step by step uh, bringing a lot more new uh, sustainable component into the watch with the ambition at some point to have a watch which is almost 100% coming from uh, you know, uh, recycled components. So you're going to see more into that probably you know, in, the, in the months or years to come. Uh, the other collection we have which is highly important is a Blast. Blast is a modern envelope for our high horology movement. 
you know that we've got a strong hepatitis in, in autologery. And so we've got, you know, the free wheel, um, the blast hour striker, chiming pieces, flying tourbillon, um, skeletonized uh, product that is into the blast collection. And last but not least, it's a marine. So marine is uh, a collection that you will hear more into the future. It is where we're coming from, you know, before uh, manufacturing, you know, uh, uh, um, uh, what she's also, Elis Nana, was manufacturing marine deck chronometer. We were manufacturing the most precise marine deck chronometer for, and, and we supplied, you know, uh, uh, most of the navies. So that collection is important because it's tribute to our leading spirit for more than a century on the chronometry in the seas. And we're going to be talking more about that into the future, but not this year. In one of the interviews, Patrick Puno also said that uh, you're going to you're planning to limit the production uh, to 15,000 timepieces per year. Uh, also, according to Morgan Stanley report, the average price of the timepieces that you sold last year was like 19,000 uh, Swiss francs. Are you comfortable with this price, or you want to change something uh, in the terms of uh, production capacity or the prices? No, what I can tell you, you know, it's uh, the fact that we want to keep a limited production. So more than a number. Uh, at the moment, we are not increasing the production. We are focusing much more on the value of our product. So you mentioned the average chain price, which is an important component. The average chain price have increased quite a lot over the past years. Uh, now, actually, it's, it's above the 20,000 mark uh, at retail. We see that going up. And that is thanks to the success of the free collection, which, you know, starts at 25,000 Swiss francs and goes above, but also thanks to the success of the Blast collection. So talking about the free cast, uh, the, the timepiece that we are inside, uh, limited edition, how many pieces will be produced of this one? It's going to be a limited edition of 99 pieces uh, that will be produced over two years, so 2024 and 2025. So you still have time to get one. Thank you very much. Thank you so much.